All right, guys, I bought another comic collection. All right, guys, I bought another collection from an absolutely amazing couple. Uh, we both drove pretty far. We are going to get into it. We're going to get into the whole thing. We're going to go over a ton of keys. We're going to go over which ones. A bunch of these are going to CGC. We're going to go over price. We're going to do all that. But first, if you could hit that subscription button, if you haven't already, that notification bell, click on that. It will let you know when I post content. If you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up as well. None of this costs you a nickel. And of course, going to want to hear from you down below in the comments. Let me know what you think. And we are going to talk price again. I'm going to see. What do you think? How do you think I did? Did I do well? Not so well. We'll talk about that at the end. So uh, without further ado, I didn't even record in the car this time. I didn't even record there because all of these books came in, uh, yeah, all of them except, was there one short box? I don't even remember, but basically the majority, I think there was one short box. Everything came in like office boxes with a lid and they were stacks like this. So I couldn't even flip through them and record anything. What I ended up doing was getting everything home and I did flip through one box. So here we are flipping through one box and then... Uh, I'll go through the keys and talk price. All right, guys, so here it is. Uh, I have two boxes inside, so you're looking at 26 of these boxes. I can't really flip through them because um, they look like this, and it'll take me a long time. Avenger, uh, West Coast Avengers is not, not, as bad of a, not as bad of a title as it used to be, huh? What the, um, this is one I did want to show you really quick. So this was just... The raw stuff in here was just a, a mix of stuff that was a side. But there was some pretty decent stuff in here. Uh, here you go. Wonder Man. Kang. You can see, though, the damage. You know, Rusty Staple. This is probably like a 2-0, maybe. Not in the best shape at all. Some Tales of Suspense. Here's the first Sharon Carter. But again, this one's not as bad as the Kang. Uh, this was a pretty decent box. We talked about it. Um, just trying to think if we could find a uh, first Silver Age Red Skull with a really bad misline. Like, look at that. <laughs> uh, not in great shape, but again, these books are from the 60s. Nice old Tales of Suspense. Tales of Suspense 23. 10 cent cover that's just, I mean decimated we have some strange tales in here some strange tales some strange tales uh here's 115 but you know they don't have to be in great great shape but you know you want them sometimes you want them a little bit better than that strange tales 113 no 110 and another early you know early oh yeah strange tales 86 which is cool these are just really cool older book older strange tales Here's a nice one, Hercules, uh, first Thor, uh, in title, some journey into mystery, absorbing man. It's just, uh, but these were all bagged and boarded. So, um, all right, I, I, I would love to keep going, but it's just like, these are so, maybe I'll do it like this, how's this, here we go. Tale 66. Tales 64, Tales 59, 57, Fantasy Masterpiece, Strange Tales, 143, 142, 141, 140, 139, there's a nice one, 138, 137, 136, 126, Dormammu, um, maybe, maybe, let me just put this stack like this. Maybe we'll do the other side. Here. We got some Sergeant Fury down here. Hold on, hold on. Tough to do this with one hand. I think we did this. We did this one, right? Swordsman. Sergeant Fury 23, 22, 17, 15, 12. You see the missing corner there. Avengers 26, 25. Just, you know, cool covers. 24. There's the Ravona book. Uh, 22, 21, 20. House of Mystery 138. This one's chewed up, huh? Somebody's. We don't need that part anyway. 
some Dell, some Gold Key, some Atom. Adam, Adam, early Adam books, Hawkman 6, real close to 4, huh? Uh, we don't need that top corner, don't worry about that one. Tales to Astonish, 77, 76, we don't need the top corner on that one either, or that one. Marvel Collectors Classics, 2 and 1, some Marvel Tales 2, some World's Finest. Brave and the Bold, you have the first Teen Titans that's kind of whooped up here. Superman Annual number one that's got tape all over it. Adventures into the Unknown 143. Sergeant Fury. This is a special Marvel edition. This is a 20 center. Sergeant Fury 95, 27, and 25. So some nice silver stuff, but we're gonna get through. We're gonna talk about a lot of the, the keys in here that we didn't just uh that we didn't just see just just now. All right, guys, we are going to go over all the keys, talk about what I paid. You saw a little bit what I was flipping before, and you're probably asking yourselves, the observant guys out there and gals, uh, Gary, you have a different shirt on. Well, here's a fun story before we get into this. I actually already recorded all of this, and for some reason, my mic wasn't working, so when I went to edit and put the video together, it sounded like crap. So now here we are again. This is round two. You guys missed a good one in round one. We'll try not to screw it up this time. So... Getting into it, you saw how many boxes there were. You saw how they were stacked on one another. He was mostly a Marvel collector. This is very, very, very heavy Marvel. Only a little bit of DC. We're going to start with the DC books because there's only four. Uh, first up, Teen Titans 44. This is the first appearance of Nightwing. Guys, we have talked about this book at nauseum. It has come through in a, a, every collection that has Copper Age books. This seems to be in there. Uh, you know, what, I have nothing else to say about this. You've seen it before. Moving on. Well, well, here, we've got a book from the early 80s, right? And, and this is how wide this collection spanned. The next book is a Flash book from the 60s. This is Flash 139. This is the first appearance of the reverse Flash, probably like a 2.0. This one's probably going off to CGC as well as the next one. I'm going to let you know as we go down the line which ones are going to CGC and which aren't. The next one is my favorite Neil Adams cover of all time. Just happens to be a Batman book. I have it in a 9.2. I'm always looking to upgrade. This one's not going to cut it. This is Batman 251. This is probably somewhere in the 5 to 6 range. This is going off to CGC. So I'm going to actually mark this. We've got one and we've got two. Two books off to CGC. All right. Now let's swing over to Marvel. Uh, how about Miss Marvel number one? Carol Danvers becomes Miss Marvel. This is her first solo series. Oh, and that's that. Then Savage She-Hulk number one. First appearance of She-Hulk. Nice book. Uh, sticking with Hulk. I know you're thinking like, oh, Hulk 181, Hulk 180. Neither of those were in there, although there were a bunch of Hulk books. This was Hulk 182, second cameo of Wolverine. Pretty nice book. I haven't decided if this is going off to CGC. I'll put a question mark next to that one. I don't know if it's going off to CGC. I have to take a closer look. I want to see this thing in a, at least like a 7 to a 7.5 if I'm sending it out. Because um, it may not be worth it, especially with the turnaround times being as crazy as they are. We'll see. Going down, let's talk Adam Warlock, all right? There was a few Adam Warlock books. First up, Strange Tales, 178. This is the first Adam Warlock kind of solo story. First Magus, 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 Magus. I don't know how you say it. Anyway, his first appearance. Uh, let's go to now Marvel Premiere. Marvel Premiere number two. Our buddy, him, is given the name Adam. And to go with Marvel Premiere number two, we have Marvel Premiere number one. He is given the name Warlock. Uh, so three Adam Warlock books, nice books. Adam Warlock has a whole bunch of specs, but I don't think anything is, is as good as the Thor books. I think those are the best, even better than the FF books. I'm not positive with the values these days on that, but expect those to climb, especially when James Gunn starts working on Guardians of the Galaxy 3. He may come. That's what she said. Uh Let's go. New Mutants 98. Oh, and by the way, none of those are going to CGC. New Mutants 98, first appearance of Deadpool. This is not going to CGC. Uh, the reason is there's a big, there's a lot of tanning in these books. Remember, they weren't bagged. They weren't boarded. They were stacked on one another. A lot of tanning. 
uh, across down the spine. I don't need this book in a 6.0. I already have one in a 6.0, so I'm just going to try to move it raw. I highly doubt it's going to be slabbed. Now let's go to Daredevil, all right? We all like him. Uh, Daredevil, number three, first appearance of Owl. And next, Daredevil number seven. This is the first red suit. This one is probably not going to CGC, albeit if it was a higher grade, it would be worth sending out, but it's not. It's probably like a 3.5 to a 4.0, so I'm going to keep that one raw. The next one I do have to look at closely because it may be going to CGC. This is Daredevil 131, first appearance of Bullseye. Let's start going now to Spider-Man books. We're going to start, though, with Marvel Spotlight 32. This is the first Spider-Woman. And again, I do have to look closely at this one if it's going to CGC. I don't want a 7, 7, 5, even an 8. I want this book in an 8, 5 or higher if I'm going to get it graded. Next book, literally everybody should have from the early 80s. This is Secret Wars number 8. It seems like Secret Wars 8 and Teen Titans 44 go together in these collections. When there's one, there's usually the other. This is the origin of the black suit. This one's not going off to CGC. I've, I want this book in a 9092 or better. I have to look at that one too. All right, now ASM. All Amazing Spider-Man stuff. Amazing Spider-Man 2. 38 first appearance of the hobgoblin this one's not going off to cgc because it has that tanning just like the new mutants 98 did across the spine little discoloration not a fan of it i don't want this book in a 560 i want this book in an 885 or better it is complete it does have the tattoos for you guys who are finding this book raw in the wild check that last page you have to make sure the tattoos are in there the next book is going to cgc this is amazing spider-man 3 100 first appearance of Venom. You've seen this a million times. You, this book is everywhere. All right, now let's go to the Silver Age. Let's go to the Silver Age. And the first one I want to talk about, I found this book three times in the wild. I don't know why I know that, but three. And the reason uh, this is frustrating for me is because every time I find this book, it's got to be a, a 0.5, a 1.0, or a 1.5, and it always has detached covers. Just my luck. I'm, I know they're out there in higher grade. This and now it's a square bound book, so it's very difficult for a high grade. Okay, this is Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number One. This copy has a detached front and back cover. Absolutely heartbreaking, terrible. First appearance of the Sinister Six. I you know this this is one of those books where if I could pull it out in like a four four five maybe a five zero. Oh, I may contemplate keeping it, and that's a slippery slope because if I keep that, I'm going to start keeping the ASM keys, and then I'll have a corner of my room with ASM keys, all the first appearances, and those doors get pricey. How about we talk about another first appearance, Amazing Spider-Man 31, one of the most underrated books, in my opinion, in the Amazing Spider-Man run. This is the first Harry Osborn, the first Gwen Stacy. I love this book, and I don't love the value. I think it should be higher, so... Just my opinion. Last but not least, if you guys watched my spec video, you know how much I love this book. A major Silver Age, Amazing Spider-Man key. Amazing Spider-Man 14, first appearance of Green Goblin. I love, 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 love coming across this book. This is going to CGC. The Gwen Stacy, Harry Osborn, ASM 31 is going to CGC. And like we said before, the Venom off to CGC, every single one of those. All right, on to page two. I told you there's a lot of books here. We have a lot of books here. Oh, I forgot to tell you this too. Everything that we picked out I, or everything we bought, I went through already. Six short boxes of $5 plus books. That's a lot. Now, granted, they all need to be bagged. They all need to be boarded. They all need to be priced. And that takes a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of time. But still, a lot of inventory, great stuff. Back at it here. We're talking keys. Let's go to Fantastic Four. All right, Fantastic Four, number 45. This is the first appearance of the Inhumans. This book's been getting a lot of love recently. And usually, where there's 45, there's 46. And in this case, there was too. First appearance of Black Bolt. He was in there. Now, the next two books you've probably seen, and the trilogy was not complete. But let's start with Fantastic Four, number 49. This is the first full Silver Surfer or, or second Silver Surfer, but first cover and first full Galactus. You know, 48 gets all the love, but I think 49 is the better cover. Uh, 48 gets, when I say all the love, I mean it's it's much more expensive than 49. Um, so yeah, so there was a 49 in there and there was a 48. 
This is the first cameo of Galactus, first Silver Surfer. This is the this is the golden child of the trilogy. 48, 49, 50. There was no 50 in there. That's that ugly brown cover with the surfer on it. Uh, that was not in there. So done with the Fantastic Four, done with the Amazing Spider-Man, done with the Daredevil, some other miscellaneous stuff, but let's go to X-Men. He was definitely an X-Men collector because my man had a lot. First up, X-Men number two. This is the second appearance of the X-Men. You know them, you love them, Professor X and all the, the gang. They were in there. Uh, and in decent shape um, with the, oh, CGC, right? I'm probably sending, I have to look closely. I may send all four FF books out to CGC. Definitely the 48, most likely the 49. And the 48 is low grade too. Bottom staples detached, but I'm still sending it. Um, the Black Bolt and the Inhumans. I got to get a closer look. I think they were in good shape. We'll see. Uh, now, X Men again. X Men number two. I am not sending this to CGC. It wasn't high enough grade for me. And unless I hear differently, I'm not, I don't love this book. Yeah, it's a major key, a second appearance of the X Men, but. I don't know. I have to check on prices because this is a low grade, like a 2.030. .30. I don't know. We'll see. And again, it's getting more, ex I don't know if I talked about this, but it's getting more and more expensive to send books to CGC and the turnaround times are astronomical. So uh, how about X-Men number 10, first Kazar, first Zabu. Watch out for this one. Long-term spec there. Uh, 13, second appearance of Juggernaut. And 14, first appearance of the Sentinel. Uh, jumping all the way to the 90s. How about X-Men 266, Uncanny X-Men 266, first appearance of Gambit. This is not going to CGC, Sentinel is. Um, the reason this isn't going to CGC is it has that same stain, I say stain, same foxing as the New Mutants 98 and the Green Gob, uh, the Hobgoblin, that ASM 238. Not worth sending. I'll just... Whoops. I'll just auction them or send them all out raw. Uh, three books left that we're going to talk about. First one, X-Men 101. First appearance of Phoenix. Beautiful copy. This is going off to CGC. And X-Men number 94. This thing is probably somewhere between a five and a six. I'm still sending it out. This one's got to go. Really excited about these. Now, this guy had, I said he liked X-Men. This guy had everything from X-Men 94 all the way through 300. I didn't want to tell you that before. Would have spoiled these get books. But what he also had was a giant size X-Men number one. This is the best book in this collection. Beautiful copy. Probably like a 6 to a 6.5 maybe. Maybe. Maybe a 7. Oh, we'll see. Erod's got to work his magic with the cleaning and pressing on this bad boy. So that's it. All that stuff, plus the six short boxes of $5 plus books. And there were some good books that I put in there, that $5 plus range that I didn't talk about. First Scott Lang as Ant-Man, Nova number one, stuff like that. A lot of them had that staining, that tanning, that foxing that um, the ASM 238 had, the X-Men 266 had, the New Mutants 98. They all had that. So I'm like, ah, we don't need to talk about those books or show them. Um, but all in all, what did I pay? I'll give you five seconds. Here we go. You guys guess. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I paid total for everything, $5,000. Now we've also got a lot to invest, not only time, which does cost money, a lot of bags, a lot of boards, and a lot of CGC fees. Uh, we've got probably a dozen or more books going out to CGC and we know how expensive that gets. Very, very expensive. So thank you so, so, so much for watching. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up on the way out and please leave a comment down below. Let me know how you think I did. Did I do well? Did I not do well? Should I have gotten it cheaper? Should I have paid more? Um, you guys are going to see a lot of this stuff too come back from CGC. So that's going to be really, really cool because we're going to start tallying up the cover price sales data and see how we did the old return on investment, the ROI. That's it for me, guys. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. And as always, keep it comics.